Well, even though, the, even though the Mueller investigation is now over and the president has been cleared, Democrats say they won't rest until they see the report for themselves in its entirety. And they want to question Attorney General Bill uh, Maher, rather, uh, while Republicans say they want the heads to roll for bringing this investigation in the first place. The Attorney General's comments make it clear that Congress must step in to get the truth and provide full transparency to the American people. We will ask the Attorney General to testify before the House Judiciary Committee. We will demand the release of the full report. Then you have Adam Schiff. Talk about an oxymoron. This man heads the Intelligence Committee in the House. He said, quote, he believed that the scandal was of a size and a scope probably bigger than Watergate and that there's plenty of evidence of collusion. He ought to resign today. So should we be prepared for maybe two more years of partisan accusa uh, accusations and investigations? Let's bring in Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli and Democratic strategist Kristen Hahn. Uh, Deneen, let me start with you. Uh, you know, what do you make of it? Uh, you know, there's a, a sliver of hope perhaps for Democrats and obstruction, although it feels pretty clear that, that Attorney General Barr closed that door. Nevertheless, it seems like it's going to go on. Well, Mueller ended the investigation, but the Democrats are just starting. Don't forget, they're also investigating 81 people or, or entities that are remotely associated with President Trump. This was never about getting to the facts. This was about getting to President Trump, to not get him elected, to get him out of the White House. And the Democrats are just going to continue to play these games. And I really think Americans are just tired of it. Kristen, uh, the numbers are 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, 2,800 subpoenas, 500 search warrants, 233 orders of communication records, 500 witness uh, interviews, $30 million. You've got a few arrests and convictions, but no collusion. And according to A.G. Barr, also uh, no obstruction. Would the Democrats be smart just to walk away from this? I mean, I think the American people, they want to see the full report. The president even said, stated his, report, uh, his support for that. And I would just say, to say that, the, that Robert Mueller was not about getting to the facts is just false. Now, I do think, you know, it, it, the Democrats on Capitol Hill have a responsibility to, to call, to call, you know, to subpoena folks and get to the bottom of this and, and, and help the American people see what, what the report uh, So let me included, ask you on but, that, Kristen. But they, they could go too far yeah, and of it course. could backfire. The, I mean, yeah. there was a report, a, a poll in USA Today, not necessarily a right-wing uh, publication, where 50% yeah. of the folks felt that this whole Mueller investigation had become a witch hunt. They used Donald Trump's word, a witch hunt. So if Nadler goes through with these 81 requests and turns them into subpoenas, Aren't you worried that you're going to tilt sympathy completely in, 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 in for President Trump? Yes, of course. I mean, I, when we were out on the campaign trail in the midterms, I said this before, you know, very, it was not very often that, that our candidates, and we got questions about, about Russia or Mueller, it doesn't mean that it's not important. Uh, and we, what we do know is that Russia did meddle in our elections, and we need to make sure we do everything as a country, both sides of the aisle, to make sure that never happens again. But yeah, I mean, I, I would much rather personally have the American people vote President Trump out of office rather than have a purely, you know, partisan um, um, effort to right. impeach him. Deneen, uh, you know, uh, on that note, uh, I, everyone agrees that Russia uh, has tried to influence our elections and to what degree of success you can argue forever. Uh, should that be what the administration is focusing now, at least saying, articulating, hey, we did X, Y, and Z to, to, so that we're better ready when 2020 comes around? Well, sure. Have the focus there that it was Russia that they should have been investigating. But the bottom line is the Democrats do not do care Do you want to see an investigation the then, uh, of the source of this investigation? Yeah, w yes, let's roll back the tape. What about Hillary Clinton, Loretta Lynch, James Comey, Clapper, all of the characters that were involved in this early on? There should, where, where are the investigations for that? They should put as much energy and effort into what so they you did want to Couple more years. I mean, are you concerned? I don't about, want it, but you know uh, what? About this investigation fatigue that, yeah. that seems to be settling in in this country. My concern is accountability. No one is going to be held accountable unless they take the next step. Yes, there is investigation fatigue, but where's the accountability with the people who were responsible for this early on? Kristen, would you be okay with that if they said, hey, you know what, let's roll this back because there's more and more evidence that it all began over faulty, uh, 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 some faulty research? Look, I'm, I'm okay with getting down to the bottom of Russia's influence in our, in our elections, no matter, no matter what side of the aisle or who it is. So, you know, I mean, they, 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 we can't continue to allow this to go on, and um, we need to stop making this a partisan issue. All right. Deneen, Kristen, thank you both very much, Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Charles.